New at five. Do you happen to recognize this woman right here? A little rock man trying to identify her after he started receiving her pictures from his stolen iPad. Seven News reporter Molly Hendrickson joining us from the control room. Molly, this all started after a flight from Phoenix to Denver. Yeah, Alan Engstrom lives in Arkansas, but he tells us he left his iPad on a flight from Phoenix to Denver. So you could imagine his surprise when he began getting photos from that stolen iPad to his iPhone. He began posting those photos to his Facebook. They've since gone viral. Now he says he's getting comments from as far away as Croatia. It's said a picture is worth a thousand words. But for Alan Engstrom, these selfies are worth at least 600 bucks. All I have is her image and the power of social media to help me get my iPad back. You see, he left his iPad on a flight to Denver. He thought it was gone forever until, thanks to his family cloud account, his son got a little surprise. All of a sudden, he holds up his iPod and he says, Mommy, what's this? And it was a picture of her on his iPod. We finally uh, kind of figured out that, oh, that must be the new uh, owner of my iPad. The gift just kept giving. Probably has no idea that her pictures are backing up to my iPhone. Angstrom has tried to track her down. We ran her image through Google search, but didn't quite get a match. It's still kind of in its infancy. So Travis Funk of Denver Mac hard, Repair hard says because Angstrom didn't have his location switch turned on, tracing the images could be impossible. Apple has also had to deal with privacy issues of that location information. So if the location act is not activated on the iPad, there may not be any way to trace it at all. Angstrom is now relying on the power of social media and the hope his iPad will buy her enough fame to get it back. And just because this woman has his iPad now doesn't necessarily mean she's the one who took it. Engstrom says he'd just like it back, no questions asked. Reporting live in the control room, Molly Hendrickson, 7 News.